It's been a years long legal dispute and this weekend fans of the paranormal turned to protest. The group behind Save Waverly Hills is showing their support for the building's owners. 750 pages wow. of charges brought against Charlie. The group claims Waverly Hills Historical Society, a nonprofit group started by Charlie Mattingly, is trying to take the building from him. The Historical Society filed a lawsuit against Mattingly, and this group claims they're seeking taxpayer money to help with the property. Allow that to happen. Uh, we're going to lose Waverly Hills the way that we see it now. It's just not going to be, it won't be the same. However, the Historical Society says five years ago they signed a 99-year lease agreement with Mattingly, but following an IRS investigation into him and the nonprofit for inappropriate use of funds, the Society says they also had to make changes to leadership on the board and the nonprofit, removing both Charlie and Tina from the board and these renovations on the property. The Historical Society posted this video on their Facebook page. The owner of Waverly Hill Sanatorium has not been forced out. The Historical Society has a lease with the owner and continues to fulfill our agreement. The Historical Society pays for all expenses and costs associated with the property and has been doing so for nearly two decades. In the video, the Historical Society added they are not planning to demolish any buildings on that grounds.